Howdy guys, uh, Jimmy Song here. I wanted to talk a little bit about Bitcoin versus blockchain. A lot of people ask me, uh, why are you so into Bitcoin but not blockchain? Um, and I'll tell you why in this video. So uh, first of all, it's, it's hard to know what people mean when they say blockchain. It's oftentimes uh, sort of a vague word that people mean to say, oh, okay, well, we'll fix this with a blockchain. They don't really know what they're saying. Uh, it could, blockchain is a conglomeration of a lot of technologies like proof of work, uh, you know, networking, uh, you know, in a gossip protocol, along with public key cryptography and a bunch of other things. Uh, so what people actually mean when they say blockchain is very hard to decipher. Oftentimes it's just a code word to say, I want to do some IT infrastructure upgrades for you. And, um, and this is what, how we think we can do it. And we're going to use blockchain as a buzzword to do it. For those people, blockchain pretty much can mean almost anything. So I'm, I'm not sure I would put much stock into their use of the word blockchain as and as meaningful um, blockchain makes sense for Bitcoin because it is a particular set of technologies that's very well suited to money uh, so for example Bitcoin is very very hard to change as a result of a blockchain because you need it's uh, it's decentralized that means there's no single point of failure there's no single person saying okay this is the way Bitcoin has to be uh, or organization or anything like that nobody really controls Bitcoin and that is a very good thing and that is one of the one of the reasons why it works so well is because it is very hard to change it the inability to change or the difficulty in changing it is a feature and not a bug and this is because because Bitcoin is money. Uh, with monetary systems, you want it to be hard to change because you want people to store value in it. And when you store value in it, you uh, one of the features that you want out of it is that you don't want things to change. If, if things are changing, something is going wrong. Um, and, uh, and this is one of the reasons why uh, fiat is so sucky. It's because it gets changed around all the time. Every time they raise the debt ceiling, uh, when the government changes things so that there's more of the supply that is in essence uh, ch changing things and that that's a very bad thing because it's taking away stuff from you uh, through inflation and this is uh, what oftentimes happens with governments that are fiscally irresponsible or, or in wars or something like that they oftentimes spend money that they don't have often at the expense of their citizens uh, so for Bitcoin, blockchain makes a lot of sense. It's very expensive, it's decentralized, it's very difficult to change. Those are very good features. For almost everything else, it's, those are kind of terrible features for you know, a, a decentralized, uh, like some sort of app or something like that, because oftentimes you want things to change. You want to upgrade, iterate, uh, you know, change the business model, try different things. These are things that startups are very used to. Um, and these are things that you, you need room for in order to make it uh, make a product better and better. Um, but blockchain uh, doesn't really let you do that because uh, it, it either is decentralized, in which case it's very difficult to change and you have to get everything right the first time, or it is not decentralized, it's centralized, in which case it's just a really slow and expensive database. So it doesn't really make sense to use it in that context. You're either using a decentralized technology in a centralized context, which is a square peg in a round hole, or you are uh, you know, just using the blockchain name and really just making a very slow and expensive database. Oftentimes what businesses want are you know, auditability. You can get that through receipts and public key cryptography uh, without too much trouble. And that technology has been around almost 30 years. So it's, uh, it's not like it's, uh, it's any, anything that's that risky. It's, uh, it's proven technology more or less. It's just that you know, businesses haven't felt the need to do it, although there are certain cases where that might make sense. Uh, so, you know, a, a lot of times, uh, you know, people sort of use this word as a buzzword and, uh, and this is what I object to. And I don't, I don't think it's really appropriate for use in uh, a lot of these technologies that people are talking about. And plus, uh, you know, these businesses have to make money somewhere. And, and the way they do that is by say, selling software licenses or being in charge of something. Uh, and as soon as you're in charge, it's a centralized system. So it doesn't, blockchain doesn't really belong in that conversation. It's a, it's a decentralized technology. And if, if somebody is in charge, then it's not really decentralized. So it's, it's a slow and expensive database, which is, you know, honestly, what a lot of these projects are. Um, so that, that's why I'm, I'm bullish on Bitcoin, but really uh, bearish on 
um, blockchains, uh, especially enterprise blockchains and things of that nature. So um, that's hopefully uh, explains what my perspective is, and and that hopefully will help you. Anyway, this song is done.